Okay, alright, so guys, it is time. You know what, actually, I'm gonna make it that red real quick. Boom, and do I have it here, actually? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I do. Okay. Alright. Okay. And here we go. I think, uh, on the fly. Woo! Oh, I gotta do this. Okay. Yes? No? Oh, yeah, there he goes. Okay. It was on mute. <laughs> Sorry. So, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to Overwatch a Minute with Greg Dietz. Hi, everybody. Um, you just heard me earlier in the other conversation. Anyway, I, I don't know why I'm doing that. <laughs> guys, there's not a whole lot of news in terms of, like, uh, reworks or things in that regard. Um... The Overwatch League is doing great. Uh, there's been some problems with some athletes, athletes, some players yeah. that have that are being uh, uh, remedied very quickly. Toxicity and other things are out, um, which is great, but nothing, nothing to report there big time. However, the biggest thing to report on, the biggest thing to talk about, is the redemption uh, oh, event. Oh yes, that, yes, yes, that has yes. Um, so last year around this time, they did an event called Uprising, where it was a, it was the story of um, it was basically the story of Tracer's very first mission in the Overwatch team, and it consisted of uh, Reinhardt, Torbjorn, Mercy, and Tracer. And uh, you were in L downtown London, or the London map, essentially, that was modified. And um, you had to take out a series of Omnics that were being controlled by a group called... Oh, shit, I can't remember the name of the group. Damn it. Anyway... Yeah, all these Omnics were being controlled by them, and you had to take, you had to stop them and kill the OR 15s, and that was fun. But the problem is, is that like it was um, much like Overwatch's missions in general. Like after you play them a couple times, it's boring. Um, well, unfortunately, Redemption's not much different. Uh, <laughs> it is, it is slightly better than than Uprising or Junkenstein's Revenge but not by much. Um, so I'll get into the story of it real quick, and then we'll move on to why it gets boring very quickly. So the story of it is that um, in the Overwatch team, and these are told in comics and other, and other little things, some skins from the Uprising event, um, before Overwatch got shut down, uh, this was about eight years prior, there was a group called Blackwatch, and they were the covert operations of Overwatch. And, it, you, and, and the members that we know it consisted of were Reaper, McCree, Moira, and uh, Genji. Um, this mission in the game, they're sent to Italy to take out a leader of Talon. Or, I'm sorry, to arrest a leader of Talon. When they get there, um, the, the leader of Talon basically looks at Reaper and says, You can arrest me, but you know I'll be free in like a couple days and I'll be back what i'm doing so why are we wasting our time and reaper goes or uh gabriel reyes he goes you're right and shoots him like straight in the head killing him well this alerts all of talon and so now because of this the four of you are escaping italy while fighting off a ton of talon guys what makes this a fun thing is that you're going to meet up with some new character types, some new uh, models. Um, uh, there's the assassin, which jumps on you and starts stabbing you. There's the berserk or the big guy with the guns. I don't remember what they call him. Uh, there are... Um, uh, there's, a, there's the sniper, which actually the sniper could just be a, uh, could just be a black, uh, black Widow skin, honestly. <laughs> Uh, what else was there? I don't remember, but it doesn't matter. Point is, is that you have to fight a ton of talent. And, uh, oh, there's guys with shotguns. That was the thing. There's guys with shotguns. If you play on legendary mode, like, two shots kill you. Straight up. Damn. Like, you, there's no, there's no recovery time. It's, it's really difficult. But, um, you know, playing as these, playing as three <laughs> assault characters and one, like, DPS healer and escaping is fun. It was different. It felt, it felt good. And... Um, 
at the very end of the whole thing, like there's a little bit of dialogue, like everyone's mad at, at Reaper and especially McCree, but at the very end you call a drop ship and it comes to pick you up and you just have to get into the ship. And uh people don't realize that. <laughs> So I failed quite a bit on day one because I watched a lot of people continue fighting an endless wave of extremely powerful enemies before like dying, and then we couldn't get, we couldn't revive them because they were like far from the ship, and it was a pain in the ass. But um, now that people have gotten it, it's not that much of an issue anymore. Uh, but here's where here's why it gets boring. So if you play with the four that it gives you, it's fine. Play that a couple times, and you're done. Maybe play on a harder difficulty, and you're done. Nothing changes. There's no new enemies. Different types of enemies don't land. They're all in the same spot. But if you play with all heroes mode, which is super fun and I highly recommend, there are different enemies that pop up in, in, in different spots than the other mode. However, the enemy spawns in, in all heroes mode is the exact same no matter what heroes you play. Hmm. And I remember Jeff Kaplan talking about that it would be different spawns for different characters, different enemies, I should say, different enemy spawns depending on the hero composition. It doesn't matter. It absolutely did not matter. So I got the achievement for playing with all four of the heroes in the retribution mode. I got the achievement for playing with eight different heroes or completing it with eight different heroes in the um, all heroes mode. And I'm kind of done playing it. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, but it's good. Like, Blizzard could make an Overwatch single-player campaign. Like, they could do that. And it would be fucking amazing. Like, that's what's good. Like, yes, I got bored playing it after day one. But that's not because it's bad. It's just because it's repetitive. Like, it's really good. Like, the first time I played it, it was I, I was enthralled. Like, it was really good. There's, like, dialogue and stuff. There's lore building. It's fucking rad. But, mm. unfortunately... You know, gets boring a little quick. Um, so that's that. That's that. They they at the very end, it kind of it kind of to the fact through a comic like uh, animation sort of thing that that might have been the linchpin that started the downfall of Overwatch as a whole because um, uh, when they were escaping Italy, like they they weren't doing it very co -op cooperatively or I'm uh, sorry covertly. It was like all over the news. Everyone knew about it. People were pissed off that Overwatch was doing things under the radar. And so I think that's what started the downfall. But yeah, it's, it's good. So the last thing I want to talk about before we cut this off, there are eight new skins. Now, much like yes. with much like with the Uprising event, which also you can play with this update. Um Oh, by the way, just to clarify, this up this update for this one thing was 20 gigabytes. God damn. Jesus. And, P and the people were just like, why? And so they had to put out a thing where they were like, this is for upcoming updates to the game. Oh. So basically, like, like Hanzo's uh, volley of arrows instead of a scatter arrow is in the game. They're just testing it before they release it. So that's why that update is so big. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, but now now my copy of Overwatch is 40 gigabytes. <laughs> Whatever. It will only um, get bigger in due time. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is eight legendary skins. And the legendary skins are basically like, in the other events, like they change the entire look of the character. Because um, you have different types of skins. You have um, like purple skins, which uh, change some things on the character but not a whole lot like kind of like maybe the style of the dress they're wearing but not too much um and then you have color skins uh but these are all legendary like completely change the style and look so hanzo has a thing called scion skin and from what i read on this thing is like that's basically his outfit when he was like uh, a top leading member of the yakuza mm -hmm. uh there's the uh doomfist and Sombra Talon skins. Doomfist looks really cool. He has like red face paint on. Um, and he's of course wearing no shirt because you know you don't put a shirt on Daddy. Um, <laughs> but uh, his fist, his uh, his, his Doomfist looks really cool. It's like weapon, I should say. Uh, and then Sombra, like she has super short hair. Um, 
and uh, it, it it almost looks like a like like people have made a joke where it's like she looks like she just got mad at somebody at Starbucks and wants to see the manager. <laughs> um, but I really like that skin. I like it a lot. Um, uh, Moira got her Black Watch skin, which you can see. Um, May got a skin called. <laughs> Oh, All right, Josh. Right. Gross. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So May's skin is actually from the uh, from that animation that about her like being the last survivor of her group. Like when it starts off, she gets out of bed, she has bad head, and she's wearing pajamas that say Summer Games. Mm -hmm. Um, and then later she puts on another outfit that they also gave as a skin in the last update. But this skin is actually called Pajama. <laughs> so, yay right. for that. Um, Lucio has a new skin, which is pretty dope. Uh, it's an early skin of his, uh, uh, like in his, in his early DJ days. Like, uh, he's not wearing a shirt. He's got longer hair, and his pants have equalizer bars on them that are animated. That's cool. I like that. That's but he has cool. actual rollerblades, not just like these weird skate things that, like, track on the ground. He's got actual rollerblades. So cool. awesome. Um, chat is gross right now, so there's that. Uh, um, Winston has a new skin called Specimen 28. His is probably the weakest of the skins, in my opinion, because it doesn't really change his look too much, but it's basically what his outfit looked like when he escaped Mars. Oh, I'm sorry, the moon. My bad. When he escaped the moon and went to Earth. Uh, but Reaper's skin actually says a lot. Because his skin is called Soldier 24. And if you know anything about the lore of Overwatch, you know that Reaper, back before he was way, way before he was Reaper, back before Blackwatch was created, he was one of the earlier uh, soldiers, um, uh, like, taken, uh, commissioned, if you will, to become part of the Super Soldier program. Like, even before Soldier 76. Hence the Soldier 24. Mm. And that skin looks really cool. So, um, but yeah, th every skin in this has some story element. Like a little bit of like, what were they doing eight years ago? Like, what do they look like? And I love it. I love it. Sick. But that's about all for this event. Um, if you log in now and you haven't logged in since the event started, you get one for loot box for free. And I immediately got Doomfist Talon skin, uh, like right away. Um, I haven't gotten anything else yet. Just a bunch of voice lines and sprays. But whatever, that's Overwatch for you. Um, I'm going to try to earn, uh, try to get Lucio's skin because I have all of his skins and I want that new one. Um, but here's the other thing, guys. So uh, Overwatch's um, anniversary is May 24th. And this event ends... Uh, Let's see, it started on the 10th. So this event ends on the 1st of May. So that means they'll be about three weeks before the anniversary, which, which should be on the 22nd. And I'm very excited about that because um, there has been a couple rumors that all the heroes are getting new dances. Cool. Cool. Um, and, uh, my favorite, my favorite event, and I've said this time and time again, was the anniversary event because I felt like the, the artist just got to get away, just got to do whatever the hell they wanted with the skins. And I'm really excited to see what they do for the anniversary event come, you know, late May. So. Awesome. Yeah. Be sick. For you guys, that is all for your Overwatch Minute. All right, guys, that's been your Overwatch Minute with Great Deeds. All righty then, that is going to do it for this show. Um, so, in case 